let's solve this equation, trigonometric equation for x. So I'm going to take this and turn it into cosine because I have a cosine over here. And so that's 1 minus cosine squared of x. And of course, times 2 still, and the 2 plus cosine of x is still over here. I did that because now when I distribute this in, notice I'm distributing the 2 in, now I can set this equal to 0, uh, not plus or minus, just plus. Now I can set this whole thing equal to 0. I'm going to move everything to the right side because I don't like negatives. So this is just going to equal... Um, positive 2 cosine squared x plus cosine x and the 2's cancel each other out because I'm going to subtract them from both sides so equals 0 now I'm going to factor out a cosine x now some people are going to say well can't you just couldn't you have left it over there and divided a cosine x out Technically, you're not allowed to divide cosine x out because what about if cosine equals zero, cosine x equals zero? Then you would be forgetting that you can't divide by zero, number one. And, and the second thing is you would forget that that's one of your solutions, which you're going to see in just a second. So factoring out of cosine x gives me this. And now I'm going to set each of these factors equal to zero. So I have cosine of x equals zero, and I have two cosine of x plus one equals zero. This means, if I look at my unit circle, the cosine is equal to 0 at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 for that one. This one right here means that the cosine of x equals negative 1 half if I solve that, which I'll look at my graph, negative 1 half. That's, remember, the x term is right there, so it's 2 pi over 3 and negative one-half is also right here, so it's 4 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. And that's assuming that they want the solutions for, for between 0 and 2 pi. So there are your four solutions. You can check them in your calculator using that store button if you want, uh, but those are the correct answers.